welcome back to the channel guys today i'll be showing you the sapphire amv rx 7900 xtx now this is one of the few aftermarket models that were available on launch day which was the 13th of december and in my opinion this is definitely one of the best looking cards around in terms of the aftermarket models some of the features are it does feature vapor chamber i don't know any other aftermarket card that has one it's also three and a half slots wide so it's quite big and it has a dual rgb bar as well which looks pretty cool and um, let's get it out and uh, have a better look okay quite a uh, reasonably sized box Sapphire didn't really waste too much space on the box they literally gave you everything you need we'll have a look at the box a little bit at the back to see what they actually give you in terms of information so looking at that you can see it says advanced game of AMD RDNA 3 architecture Brilliant color accuracy, unified AMD performance, high performance running. Just gives you a little bit of a rundown of some of the features. And it kind of gives you a bit of a blurb about what they did to the car. They do give you the system specifications as well. You do need a minimum of 800 watt or greater power supply. Windows 10 or 11 64 bit. And I recommend is 16 gigabytes of RAM. Also tells you the input output is two display port and two HDMI. So no USB C. Not that I can I'm complaining because I had no use for it anyway. I'm not someone that plans on using VR anytime soon. But anyway, the main box, nothing special here, but is what you'd expect. A lot of foam protecting the card in transit. It's always nice to see that. Gives you the quick start manual, very familiar with that, and just how to connect the RGB bar to your motherboard so you can take advantage of a site MSI's uh, RGB suite, I'll assume Asus's RGB suite as well, just tells you how to connect that up. The card itself, thing is big. Let's see if there's anything else in the box. A bracket. Okay, there seems to be something in here. So this is like a mounting bracket, I would assume to help with sag. But honestly the, the card is pretty rigid. They've got like a frame going all the way through the PCB to keep it uh, nice and rigid. So let's just get the card out now. Let's look at this beast. This thing is absolutely huge. So, I'm not too sure how well you guys can see that. But, but the three 8 pin connectors at the top. Nice metal back plate. Card feels very, very premium. So, it has actually a dual light bar. So, at the top, you've got RGB here, and at the bottom of the card, we also have a second strip for RGB as well. Again, input output, two HDMI, two DisplayPort 2.1. So vastly better connectivity potential than my RTX 4090 Supreme X. Not MVS in the slightest as it'll be a while before we have the GP power required to drive that kind of performance at those high resolutions anyway. But it's nice to have it. So you can kind of understand where Nvidia was thinking, maybe we don't need it just as yet, but it's something they're definitely gonna to have to add to future cards. No PCI Express um, cover, which is a bit strange, but it's not a massive deal, but you'd expect to see that there. But, um, Looking at the back of the card, there's no, no cutouts, no nothing, just two screw holes. 
and it's uh, very, very well. Um, in terms of aesthetics, it's really neat. There isn't too many exposed wires. Very, very neat and tidy. I'll just pull off this piece of plastic here. And there you have it, guys. This is the Sapphire RX 7900 XDX Nitro Plus. Massive, massive three and a half slot card. See the three slots here, and then you've got about another half a slot there that you need to account for. So make sure your case can fit it because you don't want to starve this bad boy of air. It's got really interesting fans as well. It almost looks like there's a fan within a fan, but it's just one fan. Just very, very interesting groovings and edges. So they've obviously done some tests in the lab and concluded that this is going to provide a specific airflow that helps with their cooler. So it'll be interesting to see how that works out with the temps. But anyway guys, that is pretty much it for me. This has been the Sapphire Nitro Plus RX 7900 XDX. Looking forward to bringing you guys some benchmarks. Thanks for watching.